Welcome back to Black News Tonight. Let's take a look at what's happening in these digital streets. As the world still deals with the shock of actor Michael K. Williams passing, lawmakers are pushing a bill to honor, or in his honor, to reduce mass incarceration. According to TMZ, New York State Assembly member Rodney's Bishot Ermeline is working with the ACLU to help lower the state's prison population. The bill will reportedly focus on black and Latino youth and the community. This is such an important move. Obviously, Michael K. Williams was committed to uh, reducing the amount of black folk in prison. He was committed to reimagining relationships between police and communities. He was committed to so much of the fight. And he, the thing about Michael was he didn't just talk about it, he was about it. He was on the ground trying to make stuff happen. It's one of my favorite things about him. And watching a bill move uh, is encouraging, particularly a bill that, again, will help reduce the prison population. Now, I want to push toward abolition. We're going to get there. But anything we can do to decarcerate, to get us out of prison, I am happy to hear. And the fact that it'll be in our brother Michael K. Williams' name makes it all the more special, y'all. Dr. Youssef Salam, a member of the Exonerated Five, is reportedly running for Harlem State Senate. Salam and four other teens were accused of raping and beating a jogger in New York Central Park back in 1989. Their convictions were overturned after another man confessed to the crime. Salam is hoping to fill the seat of Senator Brian Benjamin, who was recently nominated as New York's Lieutenant Governor. I'm so proud of Yusuf um, for who he is in the world, for who he has been in the world, for who he's been to the world. After being incarcerated for a crime he didn't commit, after being lied upon, after having his character dragged through the mud, after being caged, after having everybody up to the future president, Donald Trump, calling for them to be executed. The brothers who were now the exonerated five have made ways. They have taken directions that we would not have anticipated. If they had just gotten home and been angry, I'd have been cool with it. If they had just gotten home and done nothing, they would have had every right to. They've been through enough. But each one of them has taken up the mantle of justice in their own way. Each one of them has continued to speak the truth. And Yusuf Salam is now going to take his energy into the uh, state Senate. And hopefully he'll be victorious. And when he's victorious, we will see a politician. We'll see a man, a black man who loves justice, who's committed to justice, but who has also experienced the worst of this government, the worst of this criminal legal system. He's someone who will put a spotlight on the suffering of our people. So I'm I'm not in Harlem, but if I was, I'd be voting for Yusuf Salam. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right. The estate of Nipsey Hussle has filed a lawsuit against websites selling fake, fake merchandise of the rapper's marathon clothing brand. Hussle's brother, Samil Eshkadam, claims Several sites from China are using trademark logos that belong to the company. According to TMZ, the estate wants the sites to give up their domain registrations. It's also asking for profits from the sales or $2 million per infraction. This is the thing that I hate about the marketplace, man. Nipsey's gone. We love him. We loved him. We continue to love him. We continue to want to support him. And of course, predatory people go on the internet and take advantage of his legacy. They take advantage of his name and they take advantage of our goodwill. We need to shut them websites down immediately. And yo, if you out there, you know who I'm talking to. The same people that buy them Gucci belts that be fake, you know, with three O's. The, the, the same people that be buying Birkin bag with a Q in it. You, you know that bag wasn't, that cost $50 wasn't real. Stop doing it. Get your own style. Get your own swag. You don't have to buy an expensive bag, you ain't, but you ain't got a bootleg it either. Don't give all the power to them, them fancy labels. But with our brother Nipsey, you better not bootleg him. Don't bootleg our brother. Buy the real thing or don't buy it at all. All right. Legend Janet Jackson blessed us with the first trailer of her upcoming documentary. It's called Janet. The two-night documentary event has been in the making for five years, but follows the icon's entire Career. The trailer shows appearances of Missy Elliott, Mariah Carey, and Paula Abdul. Janet says in the teaser, this is the truth. Take it or leave it. Love it or hate it. This is me. The film is set to be released this upcoming January in celebration of the 40th anniversary of her 1982 debut album, Janet. 
I can't wait for this documentary. Y'all been lying on Janet Jackson. Y'all been besmirching her name too. Y'all been trying to lately say that she ain't the queen of pop. Y'all been trying to say that she ain't the legend when she is, and she definitely top three and she ain't number three. Y'all better stop in this video. This documentary is going to tell her story. I love when black women get to tell their own story, get to articulate their own truths. No Justin Timberlake lying on her. No Joe Jackson standing in front of her. No men who love her who might care about her telling her story for her. No, I want to hear Miss Jackson. I want to hear her voice. I want to see her story. And I want to know everything from when she was Penny on Good Times to the moment that she walked on that stage at the Super Bowl to that moment that we honor her right now as the legend that she is. I can't wait, Miss Jackson. I'm going to be there ready and willing to spend my money to watch this thing. And everybody else should too. Everybody stay with me. We got a lot more coming up. Well, really a little bit more coming up right after the show, right after the break. Stay with me.